wasn't it? I was sort of scared. I was quaking in my boots. But uh, as you may have noticed, the one thing that both the official yes and no argument say is that medical marijuana is protected under Prop 19. Why do they say that, you ask? I'm glad you asked. Because the reason is because purpose number six is provide easier, safe access for patients to see cannabis. Purpose number seven is to ensure that cities don't interfere with it. You'll see 11362.5, 11362.7 through 11362.9 highlighted. That's because that is Prop 215 and SC 420. Two places it is separately set up so that cities cannot interfere with Prop 215 or SC 420. Dr. Uh, Attorney J. David Dick says that this is the best thing that can happen to medical marijuana is for Proposition 19 to be passed because it'll save a lot of things. A lot of patients get in trouble when they let their doctors know it's last. Under Prop 19, you don't need a doctor's note. In fact, I know Medicaid is opposing this. That's kind of interesting. They want us all held hostage to have to pay them $100 a year so we don't get a bus. Well, thank you, Medicaid, but no thanks. I say any adult in California over 21 has the right to grow marijuana without fear of arrest, and it's a mission will make that happen. So Jack Herrer and I spent five years stumping around the state trying to get all marijuana legalized for everyone. And you may be familiar with the initiative. It's a very comprehensive initiative. A lot of people say they'd rather have that than Prop 19. You know what I say? I say Prop 19 is perfect. Prop 19 is on the ballot. Prop 19, I can vote yes for Prop 19. or excuse me, a qualified immunity defense in court. It did not legalize marijuana. It did not eliminate the penalties oh for furnishing the minor. It, it did not do half of the stuff that you guys are saying that it does, such as protecting patients from taxpayers. Those were all left in the law. I'm sorry to tell me Prop 215 a thumbs down for all the problems that yeah. it yeah. But I like Prop 215. And I've been in the court over and over again making sure that it's stood by. And I, was in, I helped get Prop 215 passed. I helped get SB 420 passed. And one of the things that we got out of the combination of those is the right that patients can <laughs> possess and cultivate an amount that's reasonably related to their current medical use. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? That people say, well, this is going to interfere with that. Let's take a quick look and find out whether that's true or not, as long as we just happen to have the facts here in front of us. Okay, lawful cultivation. We're looking for affirmative defense. And what do you know? Yeah, criminal, any amount of cannabis that is 